Hey guys, it's your girl Onana and I welcome you all to Onana Nation. My people make una they come oh, a holiday. There's trouble in paradise, you guys. There's massive, massive trouble building up at the gates of Davido and Shoma. So welcome everybody. Let's break this down. So let's start from the very beginning of the problem, from the genesis of this problem. When did it start? So sometimes last year, February 23rd to be precise, Kemi Oluloyo took to her Twitter page alleging that Choma and Peruzi are not related. So let's read Kemi's statement. Choma's family finally confesses to me that she is not related to Peruzi. Two kid DMW, that's Davido Music Worldwide staffers, confessed last week that he was pimping her to Adele K to get more money from him. That makes her a slut. Poor Adele K, cooking brand all messed up with slut fest. But as you know, social media always dismisses what Kemi Oluloyo says because they're always claiming she has mental illness. But you know, Kemi didn't back down. She kept on releasing tweet after tweet, exposing what Choma and Peruzzi are supposedly hiding. Kemi goes on to allege that Choma is being unfaithful to Davido. And now she says, Now his own director of corporate sponsorship, King Spech of DMW, says Choma is having sex with multiple men, them they F Choma O. Whenever she comes to London and claims another artist in the label, Peruzzi knows it all. Is Peruzzi amongst them? Poor Davido. So she's alleging that Choma is unfaithful. She's sleeping with so many men out there. And she's just wondering, like, is Peruzzi among the men she's sleeping with? And then in this other tweet, which came on March 17th, Kemi says, I'm only going to read the second paragraph of this. How Choma and Peruzzi lied to Adele K on being cousins instead of sex partners. And Kemi just kept piling tweet after tweet after tweet, alleging the same thing, saying Choma and Peruzzi are not cousins, but they're actually sex partners. So the next logical question is, all of this happened in February and March of 2019. Why are we still hearing about it in 2020? This is a brand new year. Why are we still hearing things that happened last year? So if that's your question, wait a minute, let me break this down. My people, oh, waiting happen be say, King Patrick of Golden Boy Entertainment, he's the one who is dragging Davido and Peruzzi on Twitter, alleging that they owe him royalties. So apparently, Peruzzi was first of all signed to Golden Boy Entertainment of King Patrick, and he produced some songs for him, blah, blah, blah. And few years down the line, Peruzzi went on and associated himself with DMW, which is Davido's music worldwide, and he allegedly recorded some songs all the way from Golden Boy Entertainment and brought them over to Davido. Davido's music worldwide and now King Patrick is asking for his royalties because these songs were recorded while Peruzzi was still signed to him and Peruzzi took the songs and brought them to Davido's record and he's like guys you guys owe me money you owe me royalties for this song they were actually recorded in Golden Boy Entertainment and you took them over to DMW so you guys have to settle me and he's right because they have a contract an active contract that was never cancelled that was never rescinded this boy just moved all the way to DMW carried all the songs and took them over there you're still actively signed to somebody else then you're wrong for doing that that's a breach of contract so Kim Patrick has been dragging Peruzzi and Davido all over Twitter and Instagram making rants after rants asking them to pay his money blah 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 and he's right all right and you know when you're mad at somebody you begin to say A A turns to B B turns to C C turns to D so in the course of saying that Davido and Peruzzi owe him some money that's some money for royalties and he also said by the way trauma is not related to Peruzzi and boom all the gates of of hell opened everybody came back oh my goodness this is not the first time somebody is saying Chama and Peruzzi are not related what's happening are they really related are they not are they sleeping with each other have they been conning Davido and that's how this whole floodgate opened so the truth of the matter is I never knew our people could analyze like this so so everybody became the FBI everybody became the CIA and they wore the analytical caps and they started looking into the case and someone immediately remembered oh my god Burner Boy had said this in one of his songs and they went and dug up the lyrics and brought it for us all to see these are the lyrics from a song Burner wrote a while back people make me tell you something if you see fine girl where you burden her body she tell you say the man where she follow come now her cousin then you come discover that he really wasn't. Eh, whoa.
Is this really the truth? Has Davido been played by Peruzzi and Shelma? How come Kemi Olunloyo saw this last year? How come Berna saw this a couple of years back? So a lot of people have been onto this case, but Davido had never really suspected anything. It even got to the level where Peruzzi wrote a song and gave to Davido, and Davido was singing without questioning the lyrics. Guys, let me show you a song Peruzzi wrote for Davido. And Davido carried this song to the studio and they recorded it with no questions asked. Somebody will write your lyrics about undercover lover. Your head will not even think like what? This guy came to me claiming to be my wife's cousin. Is he somehow an undercover lover hiding to be a cousin? The guy didn't ask no freaking questions, guys. They went ahead and recorded the song. Shorty want a million dollars. So make a wire, wire. Turn me to undercover. My girl. Oh my goodness. Did you guys hear that? If this actually turns out to be true, I'll feel so sorry for Davido. Like, what? So, all along they were playing him, all along they were scamming him, all along they were conning him. Oh, I really wish this is a big lie. I wish it's all a big joke. Like, this would be so terrible. So, we are not even done absorbing the shock from this revelation. And now somebody just posted these pictures online. They're claiming this is what Choma and Peruzzi do every time the video travels. When they have the house to themselves, this is what they do. I'm like, oh my god, this better be a joke. And this matter is far from being over, you guys. Every single second, new allegations are popping from east, west, north, and south. And we have a Twitter user, Josie Graffy, here who says, This is just about Davido and Chelma really blows my mind. What if he isn't the father of her baby? Boom! So this is a whole new chapter opening. This is a whole new chapter unraveling before us. People are now alleging that David does not show Mas baby's biological father. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. Somebody slap me. Somebody slap me to wake up. What? So you guys actually think Choma will be stupid enough to carry Peruzzi's baby and give to Davido? Davido, the guy who is a specialist in baby mamas, after having two baby mamas with Choma as the third, you think Choma will be stupid enough to give Davido a baby which is not his? Davido is the last guy on earth you want to prank with a fake baby. He has a lot of experience in this field. Finding out if Ifanya is his baby or not is one minute. All he needs is a toothbrush or a comb or a strand of hair running to the hospital and he will know if that's his baby or not in one second. So I think Choma is not that stupid. And people went ahead to say Davido unfollowed Choma and Choma unfollowed Davido. These are all lies. Davido is currently following Choma on Twitter and on Instagram. Choma is currently following Davido on Twitter and on Instagram. Peruzzi the same. So nobody amongst them have unfollowed the other. They all see following one another and all is well. So what if it turns out that all of this is true? Peruzzi is not actually related to Choma and Choma and Peruzzi are lovers or ex-lovers. What does this mean? It means Choma is no different from Davido. It will mean that they are birds of the same feather. Cause Davido is clearly not over his ex Sofia Momodu. And if this is true, it means Choma is not also over her ex Peruzzi. So both of them are birds of the same feather and they definitely deserve each other. If you can't get over your ex and I can't get over mine, then we are the same people. Oh man, this is quite technical. I really, really love Davido and Choma together i love seeing them together but nobody deserves to be lied to nobody deserves to be deceived david though when you return from your trip make sure you seek the truth and find that truth no baby deserves to be with the wrong dad this is unacceptable and worst of all in 2020 you need to find out if this is your baby because Peruzzi has been writing all these funny songs and giving you to sing and you're singing them without even questioning them. How would Peruzzi write you a song for your girlfriend and he's saying she sabi cook, she sabi do. You two, you carry the song and go be singing without asking any questions. How does he know your girlfriend can do if you have not done her before? How do you know? So these are questions you should have been asking Peruzzi a long time ago. So now more evidence is coming out. People are saying Peruzzi wrote the song Assurance all the way when he was in Golden Boy Records. And now he's come to Davido. He gave the song to Davido. So Assurance was actually written for Choma by Peruzzi, her supposed cousin. Why would my cousin be writing me Assurance, which is supposedly a love song? And now he brought it and gave it to Davido. And Davido was singing a song and shouting Assurance oh, as if he's the one who wrote it. So these are actually Peruzzi's words. He meant to write this to Choma, his lover. And Davido took it and was singing it. Wow. The plot thickens. So for Choma's sake, I hope these are all rumors. I hope these are all fake. I wish the truth can come out as soon as now so we can know. Because we know nothing is hidden under the sun. And there's also no smoke without fire. So is there any element of truth to this story? 
Is there any man of falsity to this story? That's what we want to know. So Choma, come out and tell us what's going on. Peruzi, tell us your side of the story. And David, don't make sure you tell us what's going on. That's what we want to know. And we are patient, okay? We are not in a hurry. Take all the time in the world you need. And when you're ready, come and tell us. Because nothing is hidden under the sun. If you don't want to tell us, somebody who knows who tell us. Kemi Oluloyo started talking already. Bernard Boy started talking already. A lot of people are already talking. Peruzi has been dropping clues in his songs. So you guys come out and tell us the truth by yourself before somebody else gives us a different version of the truth. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Natalie Nana, aka Onana Nation. Please don't go without hitting the red subscribe button below this video because we have a lot to talk about, okay? We have a lot to catch up on. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you don't forget to subscribe. And when you do subscribe, also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any notification of our upcoming videos i love you all see you all in the next video goodbye